We all love it when Netflix drops an exciting new original film, but finding older overlooked gems in their catalog can be just as satisfying. In that spirit, we'd like to inform you that Netflix recently added one chronically underrated Matthew McConaughey flick from 2011 that you would be remiss not to check out. The Lincoln Lawyer is a classic courtroom drama adapted from the novel of the same name by popular thriller writer Michael Connelly. Connelly is the king of pop boiler fiction, and his 2005 book transfers well to the screen. The film stars McConaughey as a trial attorney named Mickey Haller, a character that will be familiar to fans of Connolly's writing. The Lincoln Lawyer novel is the first of five in a series featuring Haller that concluded in 2013 with the publication of The Gods of Guilt. The film, like the series, has nothing to do with the capital of Nebraska, nor the 16th president of the United States. Instead, the title refers to Haller's propensity for working out of the back of a Lincoln town car instead of a standard legal office. McConaughey has been raking in the commercial bucks hawking Lincoln automobiles for the better part of a decade now, so he likely felt right at home in the role. I can respect that. According to Connolly Cannon, Michael Haller is the paternal half-brother of Hieronymus Harry Bosch, another popular character who made the successful transition to screen on the Amazon Prime original series Bosch, though Titus Welliver's Bosch does not appear in The Lincoln Lawyer. Joining McConaughey in The Lincoln Lawyer is a full cast of A-list talent, including Marissa Tomei as Haller's ex-wife Margaret McPherson, Ryan Phillippe as nightmare client Louis Ross Roulet, John Leguizamo as Val Valenzuela, Michael Peña as Jesus Martinez, William H. Macy as Frank Levin, and Brian Cranston as Detective Lankford. The plot of the film hews pretty closely to its source material. Louis Roulet, the son of a wealthy Los Angeles businesswoman, hires Haller to defend him in a pending assault case. Ever the champion of the accused, Haller takes the job and soon discovers that the details of the case parallel one of his former cases that ended poorly. As the Lincoln lawyer dives deeper into the details, he realizes that these parallels may be more than mere coincidence, a condition that places him in an ethical bind. Roulet proves to be a thoroughly detestable character. The playboy son of a Beverly Hills real estate magnate, Roulet stands accused of brutally assaulting Regina Campo, a prostitute Roulet had contracted for services. Roulet insists upon his innocence and even concocts a convoluted story about how he must have been set up. After Howler and his chief investigator Frank Levin get into the evidence, however, they learn the truth of Roulet's history. This guy's got a type, Frank. To learn the rest of this complex narrative and experience its thrilling conclusion, you'll have to check it out for yourself. We won't spoil the action, but we can promise that the dramatic tension holds until the very last frame, and that both critics and audiences agree that it's a winner. According to Box Office Mojo, The Lincoln Lawyer earned $86 million worldwide against a $40 million budget. That's hardly a buffo performance by Hollywood standards, especially when you consider it barely squeaked over the break-even line at home with a domestic box office total of $58 million. It's reassuring that audiences are finally discovering this film via Netflix, since the critical response at the time of release was almost universally positive. Sandra Hall from the Sunday Morning Herald appreciated the opportunity to see McConaughey demonstrate a little range. She wrote in her three-and-a-half-star review, It's nice to see McConaughey getting relatively serious instead of coasting through yet another witless rom-com. Ed Travis at Hollywood Jesus agreed with the positive assessment, writing, Viewers are treated to a top-notch whodunit, mixed with a wonderful central character played by a never-better Matthew McConaughey, and sprinkled with dashes of street smarts and authenticity. Debbie Lynn Elias at Behind the Lens really summed it up with her take, writing, The verdict is in, 12-0 in favor of the Lincoln lawyer. That pretty much says it all. If you're looking for a tense courtroom thriller with a stellar cast, you could do a lot worse than the Lincoln lawyer. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.